Howdy folks, Jabberiki here, and welcome to another day of my review week. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Ratchet and Clank, an animated movie based on the hit PlayStation games. Now, when I was younger, I did get a chance to play some of the Ratchet and Clank games, but I didn't get to really play them all the way through because they were my brother's games. They were for him. So, most of my experience with Ratchet and Clank comes from watching my brother play the games. So, this review is going to be from the perspective of someone who is aware of Ratchet and Clank, but isn't a huge mega fan who's played all the games. Come to think about it, I don't really remember much about the Ratchet and Clank games because, well, I only sometimes got a chance to see my brother play it, so I saw bits and bobs of the gameplay and I didn't really get to immerse myself in it. When I first saw the trailer for the Ratchet and Clank movie, I was pretty hyped up because it looked like a fun, silly sci-fi romp. But then I heard critics were slaying it and I lost interest. Plus, it really bugged me how the video game voice actors were billed so low on the poster. That really frustrated me. It's called Ratchet and Clank. The title character's voice actor should get top billing. It's only fair. Ugh. No wonder video game voice actors went on strike recently. Seriously. Anyway, let's begin the review. Ratchet and Clank is an animated sci-fi action comedy that follows a mechanic called Ratchet, who dreams of becoming a member of the heroic Galactic Rangers. After he teams up with a defect robot called Clank, Ratchet manages to impress the Galactic Rangers by saving the public from invading enemies. Now, Ratchet, Clank and the Galactic Rangers must stop the evil Chairman Dreg from stealing parts of planets to make his own dream planet. However, it won't be easy because the Galactic Rangers' boastful, dim-witted leader, Captain Quark, is being convinced to join Drek's side. Our studio is contractually obligated to fuck up video game movies. Can we at least have just one good movie based on a video game? Is that too much to ask? Ratchet and Clank is a tediously boring and rubbish movie that almost sent me to sleep. The biggest problem with this movie, despite the title, it's not even about Ratchet and Clank. It doesn't focus on developing their relationship, they only work together in one scene so their team dynamic doesn't get much attention, they spend most of the movie apart from each other, and Clank usually serves as Ratchet's backpack like some kind of prop. Which yes, happens in the video games, but in the context of the games, it works to the advantage of the gameplay. In the film, it just makes Clank look like undignified costume decoration for Ratchet. So anytime this movie tried to add some kind of sentiment to Ratchet and Clank's relationship, I just didn't feel it. The emotion fell flat. Instead, the film is way more interested in focusing on Quark. Yeah, the bumbling space captain who won't shut up bragging about himself is more of a protagonist than the title characters. I wouldn't mind this if Quark made for a likeable lead, but when it comes down to it, he's just an unfunny G-rated version of Zap Brannigan. Just relax. Everyone stay calm. Something epic is happening. Pretty cool, huh, Clank? That's the stuff. Flying in the air like a majestic bird. A majestic bird who knows every fighting style. Watch the master. Sure, Ratchet gets his own plot throughout the film, but it's immensely cliched. It's your typical I want something more than this story arc that most animated characters face. It's nothing special and the film does nothing subversive or interesting with it. While Clank is pushed to the side to serve as a supporting egghead, with little to nothing to do besides spurt out facts about what's going on. To make things even more frustrating, the film has an awful sense of pacing. Everything is very quickly addressed to the audience, and scenes transitioning to each other at breakneck speed. It's a relentless series of non-stop action, desperate comedy and exhausting storytelling. It's so tiresome to get through. I probably looked like I'd come out of a hurricane after watching it. The film rarely gives the audience a chance to slow down, take in the sci-fi world or connect with the characters. It's too busy trying to hit all the notes and cliches of animated action movies, just to give viewers a sense of familiarity. Ratchet's I want more than this plotline, the villain's one-dimensional motivation for power, the dumbass who's tricked into joining the bad guy side, the fanboy who discovers his hero is a letdown, the list goes on. 
the film isn't even that funny either. I think that I only laughed two or three times. Most of the comedy falls flat because it's trying way too hard to make us giggle. It's like the movie feels obligated to be funny and isn't sure how to naturally implement a joke, punchline or gag into a scene. Not helping the humour is the animation, which strives to be nothing more than competent. Even though the film goes for a zany, comedic tone, it tends to hold back the animation, declining any opportunities to stretch, bounce or exaggerate to fit the film's comedic style. I have no idea why the filmmakers decided to hold back the animation when it clearly wants to be this crazy, silly sci-fi romp in the vein of Duck Dodgers. The only plus side to this movie is the voice acting. Even though the material they're working with is paper thin, the whole cast puts a heap of energy and affection into their voices. Most notably, James Arnold Taylor as Ratchet and David Kay as Clank, who've played these roles in many video games and sound incredibly comfortable in their parts. Ah! I must get to Alero City. Ah! <laughs> They are in danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, who's in danger? An army is coming. I must warn them. Uh, hang on. Slow down. You've been in a crash. Oh. Rash and Clank is quite the stinker. It's a boring and cliched waste of time that's not really interested in its title characters. I honestly felt like taking a nap after watching it. I've been Jambreek, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Feel free to support me on my Patreon. Tomorrow, I'm going to be reviewing The Cat Returns, so tune in next time. Cheerio, folks.